She's already had breakfast and she wants some of this. Hey everyone, Camber here helping you stay fit for life. And today we're making my favorite version of Coach Greg Doucette's anabolic French toast that I've tried many different versions of over the last six months. I've tried making it with fruit inside it, on the outside, changing the amount of egg whites, putting different toppings on it, using this to cook it, using a frying pan, a cast iron skillet to try different textures. And what we're about to go over is my favorite that I typically eat at least every other day. What you're gonna need for this is a nonstick skillet, a food scale, something to dip the bread in that's big enough the whole bread will fit, a measuring cup, a smaller quarter cup measuring cup. And for the ingredients, we need bread, just regular white bread works fine. We're gonna have non-fat Greek yogurt. This is 90 calories and 18 grams of protein, so if you use a different kind or kind with more fat, it's gonna change what the calories in this are. Egg whites, sugar-free maple syrup, stevia, no calorie sweetener, cinnamon, vanilla extract, and blueberries. So, we're gonna get straight to making this. The first thing we're gonna do is get your food scale out and measure out your blueberries. I've already done that. I have 90 grams of blueberries here. So we're gonna set that off to the side. Get your measuring cup. We're gonna put one cup of egg whites in here. I'm gonna have all the ingredients and cooking utensils you need linked in the description so you can make sure you're using the same stuff I am and it'll work out the best for you and the calories and protein will match. Next up, we need to get three slices of bread. Now keep in mind, this is 65 calories per slice. I even weighed it to make sure it matched what the label said because sometimes it's not always right. So if you use a different type of bread with more calories, then you just have to take that into account when you're counting up your total calories. So next, we're gonna take our container, pour the egg whites into it. I'm actually gonna put this on my food scale. We're gonna get three packets of this sweetener now these are smaller ones, they're only one gram per packet. This just gives a little bit of sweetness. Next up is the vanilla extract. We're putting about five grams in here. So now I'm gonna take my fork. I'm just gonna mix that up a little bit. I already have the skillet turned on and it's on 300. Next up, we're gonna take the cinnamon. Now I'll do a certain amount. Instead of mixing it in, I just put a little bit on the top so that it gets on the bread. And then when I do the next piece, I do the same thing. So what we're gonna do here is take your piece of bread, just stick it on there, give it a few seconds, let it start to soak up. You don't wanna do it too long because it will fall apart pretty quickly. And there's gonna be egg whites left over that we're gonna pour on top of it when we're done. And if you need, depending on the type of skillet you're using, you might wanna use some nonstick spray A little bit more cinnamon for the last piece. All right, there's our last piece. We have a little bit of leftover I'm gonna pour on. But first, I'm gonna take my blueberries. I'm gonna start off with nine blueberries per slice. I like to use the bigger ones in the batch for this and just do three rows of three and push them down into the bread. And just pour these egg whites on top, about an even amount on all of them, and let it soak in. And now we just wait because there's so much egg whites in here that it takes a while for it to cook through. I wait till it, I don't know, a few minutes and then I'm gonna flip it and then let it sit for a long time on there. It'll really start to fluff up. So let's just sit and watch. All right, I think that's cooked enough for now. Time to flip it over. See, this works really well. It doesn't stick at all. If you flip it too soon, then you're gonna get egg whites splattering all over the place. So that's why I wanna make sure it's really soaked in and cooked enough first before we do this. Boom. And Greg likes to smash up his blueberries and really mix them in with it, but I like the blueberries to be a bit more like blueberry pancakes where they're whole and you have hot blueberries that break open when you eat them. So that's why I like to do it this way. But now we're gonna wait some more, you'll see the bread really start to rise as it's cooking and the rest of those egg whites get cooked up. All right, I think that it is good to go. So we're gonna get these onto the plate. 
I like to flip them over. You can see all the blueberries there getting cooked into it a little bit. Try to put them all evenly on here. Let's turn this off. Don't want to burn anything down. So the next step here is to get a food scale with your Greek yogurt. It adds a little bit of flavor and texture and it just works out. Mix it up a little bit first. We're going to turn the food scale on, get it zeroed out with this on top. And we're gonna put 110 grams total. So I just get a little scoop. So usually around 30 grams each. We'll throw it on top, a little extra. And there's a perfect 110 grams. And I spread it around evenly on top. And if you don't like Greek yogurt, or you don't wanna try this, then you can do it without the Greek yogurt. It still tastes good. But this adds a whole lot of protein to it and that is gonna keep you more full for a longer period of time. So the next step is to get the rest of our blueberries. Just put them on top. You can evenly distribute them if you want, but it's really not that big a deal. And now we're gonna take this with our syrup over to the table and start eating. And here we go. Now all we gotta do is add the syrup. So we're using a quarter cup of this sugar-free syrup. There's only 10 calories in this stuff. If you get the same amount of straight up maple syrup, 220 calories, which is almost half of what the entire thing is. But this is more than plenty for the whole thing. Unless you just really, really like syrup, this works just fine for me. And it's only 10 calories. So if you wanna get another serving, it's only five calories more, but see that? Let's see how this tastes. She's already had breakfast and she wants some of this. You want a bite? You want to say hi? Hi. Bye, hi. Bye, hi. That's a big bite. <laughs> Hold on. Forgot. You have a little baby mouth. You like it? I said this is really good. You have the hot blueberries inside and then the colder ones on top. So you get different flavor. Different flavors with each. I'll give you a little bite. And a blueberry. Yum. This whole thing is 450 calories and about 45 grams of protein. You might think, oh, I don't want all that protein. I'm not a bodybuilder, but it's not just about building muscles, but the more protein you have, the more filling it is compared to fat because protein has half the calories per gram than fat does. So you can eat twice as much volume for the same amount of calories, so you'll be more full, which will help you to stay lean, maintain the weight you want, or lose weight. Mm, mm, mm. Blueberry. While still being full. Blueberry, blueberry. Uh, blueberry. When I first cut down and didn't really know what I was doing very well, I was getting obsessed over food and just wanting to eat all the time. When I first started making this, I was eating four of these a day, so that's still only 600 calories, but once I started getting back to normal and finding out how to eat like this where there's more volume for less calories, it really helped me mentally too, just to eat and then forget about it because I got what I needed and I was full and good to go. You gonna eat all of it? <clears throat> but while we're here, just to compare that with some other French toast options at restaurants. So like we said, this is 450 calories, 45 grams of protein, you put some more syrup on, and very filling. So let's look at Cracker Barrel. There's, that's really bright, but the Cracker Barrel, here, I'll turn the brightness down. How's that? This Cracker Barrel French toast there are four pieces, so that's a lot of bread, but 860 calories, and that is with no syrup. So if you add their syrup to it, that makes it 1,000 calories, or you can get the sugar-free still, which only adds 15, but even then, it's 875 calories, so we're almost double the calories there. So just by doing this, you can have cut the calories in half, and that would be almost a pound a week just from doing that, because it's almost 500 calories less if you had that every day. So let's look at Denny's. So one slice of French toast is 320 calories with 10 grams of protein, 
There's 17 grams of fat, so there's a lot more fat, a lot less protein, and higher calories. So that's in only one piece. So if you had three pieces of that, you're looking at 960 calories, and that is without syrup as well. So Denny's, same thing, half the calories, that could be up to a pound you lose a week just by eating this instead of eating something like one of these restaurants. And if your kids are always coming and eating some when you're trying to, then that's even fewer calories that you're gonna have. So there you go. So let's look at one more here. We have IHOP and it looks like three slices of toast. So just like what we have here, 740 calories, 36 grams of fat. So that's where a lot of your calories are coming from because there's nine calories per gram of fat, whereas there's only four per gram of protein and there's only 20 grams of protein in this. But once again, that is without syrup, so you're easily adding another 150 calories with the syrup they give you, unless you get the sugar-free. But even so, with almost all of these, we're looking at about half the calories. Once again, 450 calories, 45 grams of protein. So I'm done, that was a lot of food. I feel full, it was only 450 calories with three slices and when Jill has it, she only has two, 300 calories. So I mean, a 300 calorie breakfast that fills you up, I mean, you can't really beat that, especially when all these other options we looked at with different restaurants have tons of calories in it. It'll make you gain weight without even realizing it. A lot of times you might even feel hungry leaving, but telling you this will fill you up so once again I have everything linked in the description that you need for this let me know if you have any questions I'll clarify what I can let me know down in the comments as well if you plan on trying this what you think of it because I really like it like I said I eat it almost every day oh I didn't even realize this I got to show you real quick as I'm talking about making this I didn't realize she was planning on having some too Jill's making her own version so there you go 300 calories right there so, as you can see, I like it, my wife likes it, the kids like it, so it's a great healthy way to stay in shape. Once again, hit that like button and we will see you soon.